Hey guys, Dan here with Sterling Self Defense and Badger. Hey, buddy. But as soon as I say that, he's right up my ass. Stay. Zach's running away. All right, guys. All right. You know the test today with this? I have the inch and a half barrel, my new compensator on there. And, uh, you know, uh, grip, you know, same old. Uh, new compensators, just designed them. ABS, super strong. I don't know if you guys ever had a 3D printed compensator, but. I can't even break this, it's so strong. Watch, here. Cement floor. Now we all know 3D printed compensators anyone else makes. You can't do that. Super strong. You ain't breaking that sucker. ABS, a beautiful thing. Everybody else uses PLA. So PLA bad. Oh, and I also mod... The best part about the compensator, the rail on the bottom of these is too small for most everything. I made it a true Picatinny 21 uh, millimeter rail. Super strong, holds everything. And good thing is it'll go on my new uh, holster. I have that holster that has a Picatinny rail holder. So super strong. All right, I'm going to test it, get some numbers. I have the inch and a half model barrel in here, non-threaded. Uh, uh, eight gram jewels, the usual, seven rounds in there. All right, all aired up. Oh, cat. Cat, move. Oh, let me put down the... Oh, I got to hook up the... Hold on. I'm going to move the cat. I got to hook up the trap. I'm, as usually, totally unprepared. Cat, this is not a good place for you. Go away. Go away. Run for your life. And I gotta hook the chain up. Now, for new guys that haven't seen my videos before, I hang this because I'll explain that in a second once I find my hook. All right. And put it on a bungee. When you hang it, you get more give. So it takes more of the power out of the round, so it makes your trap last a little longer. Cat, you're in a box. Cat in a box? Cat staying in a box. Somewhere else. Oh. Stay there. All right. All right, now we're ready to fire. Badger, go to your chair. Badger, come on. Go to your safe chair. Come on. Go. All right, is everybody out of the way? All right, we're clean. All right, numbers. Here we go. First shot. 392. 374, 362, 352, 332, 340, 350. Ah, you see the numbers jump up and down on these. That's a big thing, the fluctuations. With the same barrel, I've gotten 66 joules. So they're kind of all over the place. I got a round lean around here somewhere, just felt. But they do fluctuate. That's why they say on the box anywhere from 35 to 50 joules. One day you'll shoot it with a stock barrel and get 55. Three mags later, you'll be getting 35 joules. It's just the way the gun is. It is what it is. Uh, I've torn it all apart, looking for ways to get bad. Really? I'm trying to do a video here, bud. Uh, trying to figure a way to get a little more power. Right now, it's really barrel length is the only way to get power. And yes, I've gotten the million emails about the guy. I got 105 joules. I had a friend that took my gun and his. And yeah, crazy wild story. Didn't show the rounds. Didn't show him shooting. Didn't show anything. And then after everyone's like, well, prove your numbers. Comes out some crazy story. Oh, he shot a door. The cops took it away. Guys, cops can't take these away. They're completely unregulated. Unless you shoot someone on purpose that didn't do anything to you, in that case, they're just arresting you and taking the gun along as a weapon. It could be a boot. But they can't just take these and say they're modified and they're too powerful. They're completely unregulated. They fall under paintball gun. Doesn't matter if they're shooting 10 joules or 170 joules. They cannot take them. They're unregulated unless you use them in an illegal fashion, robbing a store and shooting people or trying to assault someone at 
someone that didn't do anything to you. So don't worry about that, you know, and the crazy story. Oh, I had to put it back to normal, so, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I can't show you again how it gets to that. You know, no way in hell he got 105 bills with it. No way. And his explanation, oh, a bigger hole in the CO2 is ludicrous. The dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Uh, restrictor, opening that up. I think he mentioned that too. Tried that, doesn't do anything. Um, they said, oh, he milled the bolt. Oh, just, just baloney. So it is what it is, but, you know. Yeah, to have a YouTube channel, all you need is an email address, right? Badger, tell them about your YouTube channel. You got one. Everybody fighting over tennis ball. All right, Zach, you're a thief. So don't believe everything you hear online. Uh, the highest I've got them up to so far is 73 joules with my extended uh, six-inch sleeve barrel. That's the highest numbers I've ever seen now. So far. It's a new marker, so you never know. Someone should come up with something that's real or not. But right now, the only way to add power is add barrel length. I've taken it apart, backwards, forward, tried everything in the world. And the guy also mentioned the stepper spring, tried the stepper spring, doesn't do anything. So, all right. But no, it's still out of the box. It's good. It's, it's the fluctuation of numbers is kind of weird. So you got to be okay with sometimes maybe having 35 joules. You never know what you're going to get until you shoot it. It's gonna be somewhere in between 35 joules and like 55 joules with the standard barrel. That is what it is. All right, guys, that's it for me. I will see you on the next one. Stay safe.